Okay, so right now we're going to start a little conversation about Ohm's Law, and um, we're going to take a look at what's going on. Um, a couple of things. Now, Ohm's Law is normally written as an equation. Uh, a lot of times you're, uh, you'll see it written as V equals IR. Um, that's not really the best way to write that, and uh, a couple of reasons of why is that um, this item here, current, is controlled by this item and this item. Okay, so that's important to us. So current is controlled by how much voltage and how much resistance you have. So this is the best way to look at the equation in my opinion because you can control voltage and you can control resistance you saw that in the lab that we did we increased the voltage or we changed the resistance that had a direct effect on the current now please remember its amps is equal to voltage divided by resistance okay now a lot of times we'll put our circle down okay and so V is equal to I times R so we can work with it that way, okay? So we're going to take a look at some things here, and we're going to try to discuss and investigate things. So that is, is what happens if um, we build a circuit here, and we're going to we're going to um, use a, a ladder or a slicky slide analogy. So th if this is my voltage, okay? and my resistance is this way okay now so if I have my slicky slide here so if we slide down that slicky slide it's going to be fairly slow now what's going to happen if we double our voltage we make our slicky slide twice as high and we keep the resistance the same What's going to happen when we go down the slicky slide this time? We're going to go faster. Okay? So we're going to double the current. Okay? Now, so what happens is we change different things here. So as, as I, if I keep resistance the same and I keep making voltage go up, but I keep the resistance the same, every time voltage goes up, current goes up. Okay? Now, something else happens, so let's take a look at what a change, um, oh, shucks. Okay, so if we keep the voltage the same, but we got our resistance, let's start out with our resistance fairly short. Okay, so we have voltage here and resistance here. Whoa, boy, you go down that slicky slide right there, you're going to be flying. So that's a really big current. Now, let's keep the voltage the same, and let's double the resistance. So what happens when we go down the slicky slide that time? Our current gets a little bit smaller. Now, let's, let's really ramp up the resistance and take a look at what happens to our current. Our current gets really small that time. So, and these are a direct r ratio, okay? So if this was a 1, this was half as much, this was a third as much, because we doubled the resistance, we tripled the resistance, and we see what happened to the current, okay? Now, when we start taking a look at our circuit, so we have some basic, some basic concepts here is, is number one, we have wires. So our wires are conductors. Now, um, oops, conductors. Uh, they they are um, low resistance, and that's important to us. That allows us to build the circuit and put specific things in there that are pretty important to us. Okay. Now, a quick review of a couple of the equations with now. Um, Let me find it here. Let me pause. Okay, so these are some of the equations that you're going to have to use. So try to keep track of things. And remember that, you know, there's multiple ways that we can talk about current. We can use current. We can use current. A couple ways of dealing with voltage. 
All of those will help help you find all kinds of different information. So when you're looking at this, and be careful when you um, when we use the scientific notation. Okay. Um, so if you have to use the charge for an electron, please be careful when you put it in the calculator. Make sure you put it in parentheses. Okay. And try to try to use either a, ca a proper calculator app or a proper calculator when you deal with that.